The Grand Owl has gone on his final journey. It's time to gather your clan, take on your rivals and compete to become the next Grand Owl of Owly Tribe. Hello, it's Dianthea from Smoggy Games and today we're doing a Kickstarter preview for Owly Tribe. Owly Tribe is a dice based worker placement game for two to four players. So we're going to take this to the table, check it out and give us our, our final thoughts. See you there. So we're going to be looking at the Kickstarter prototype. Um, the art is not final and all the components that you'll see are not the finalised finished products. So in order to play Hourly Tribe, first you will collect your clan that you will start with. There are four clans in the base game to choose from. Once you pick your clan, you also get the corresponding dice and character cards. You will then also Shuffle and deal out four location cards. So we'll just place all of the dice out ready. And each of the corresponding colours. Once you've got all those materials, you place the dream catcher in a central location for each player to be able to see the abilities that can be used in that round. You then shuffle and deal out totem cards above and below each location. These are the prizes that you are competing for in order to become the next Grand Owl. You then choose who is the oldest owl at the table and you will then be ready to begin. On your turn, well at the start of the round, Every player will take their dice and roll them. That is going to be your warriors to use for that round. You will notice that on the dream catcher there is a 1, 2, 3 and 4. No 5s or 6s. 5s and 6s are just strength and they are helped to determine winning. Once every player has rolled their dice, you will take... Your character cards that you wish to use that round and place it in the dream catcher. Each player will do this in turn order into any location that they would like. Once this has been done, taking turns, you will place your dice into various locations of your choice. You can place Dice into the same location, or into adjacent, or into any other location. When you place a dice, you must activate the ability of whatever it is that matches on the dream catcher. So by being the white player, if I place the four, I must activate the manipulative shaman's ability of make someone roll a dice in his reserve. So with that, I could force the actual green player to re-roll one of their dice. You would continue this in turn order. So this is add one to a value in your reserve. These could then place. And then on here. And that would reduce dice. You will keep going like this in turn order until all dice are placed into locations. After that, you will check to see who is the winner of each location. So here, the red is the winner. So they would choose a totem and add it to their victory. White is second, so they will get the other. In here, we have Green is a clear winner, so they would get a choice. Red and white are drawing, which means they would get nothing. They would not pick the second place. We once again have white, and then green, and then blue is here. As blue is the only one here, they only get to pick one. They do not get both. 
You then go back through again, checking who is the leader and activating the abilities. So the ability on this location is gain one, one point for each warrior on this place. So the red player would gain four points. You go through each location, assigning points where required based upon the card's effect. After that is done, all remaining totems are discarded. All cards in a dream catcher are discarded. The first player becomes the next person on the left. And once again, you would gather all of your dice. And begin next round. After three rounds, you tot up the final scores and the person with the most points at the end becomes the Grand Master of Hourly Tribe. Included within the Kickstarter at this time also includes the expansion set, which brings in two additional tribes and five curse locations. These curse locations, rather than giving points, give negative effects where you would be more seeking to gain second place in order to pick the final totem and not suffer the wrath of the cursed locations, such as lose one point for each part of your biggest totem. And that is how you play Hourly Tribe. We will see you again to go through our final thoughts. So that was Hourly Tribe. I really liked it. It's a good, quick, easy game to play. It's really simplistic, which I quite like. It's got a kind of cool mechanic, like the Dreamcatcher mechanic. Um, it adds a lot of like complexity to the game and it sort of really works quite well. There also there's the expansion, which adds two new tribes and the curses. They work really well as well to add sort of like more to the game. So you'll never get bored of it really. I think it's got a lot of playability. The Kickstarter is running from the 3rd of October to the 14th of October. And uh, so go back on Kickstarter, just go do it. So yeah, uh, this is time for Swaggy Games. Like, share and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you later. Bye.